Hello and welcome to the channel, Parame Trades. This is Parame's Trade Journal. It's my private online speculating journal. So welcome and thanks for stopping in. So what we do here is we look at the Commitment of Traders Report, Commercial Interest, Friday Roundup Edition for metals. So we're breaking them down, we're breaking the markets down this weekend. See if we can gain some kind of insight, some kind of advantage as to where the charts are going to go in the upcoming week. So we'd like to align ourselves with the uh, profitable side of the trade. So we're going to use the Commodity Futures uh, Commercial Interest Report here to see if we can do that. So taking a look at metals, we'll jump right in. And just to let you know, we're not just going to stare at this uh, this boring report data that we've got generated here. We're also going to take a look at the charts. So we use Thinkorswim Platform and the data is represented on an indicator that we created so we do have a visual representation of of what's happening so a lot happening in this report it can be kind of hard to follow so we're just going to break it down all right so we're going to scroll down and just get into the metals here which are looking really strong at this point in time platinum really strong at uh, at 100% on the 6 month index which bodes pretty well. Anything over 80% is an extreme positive outlook, and we want to pay attention to that. Well, a value of 100 means that they set a new net long positions high on the six month index. Platinum about 67% uh, on the three year index. But we'll have to take a look at that on the chart and see where that, where that lines up. So, just about all the metals platinum, silver, gold. Um, looking like they're set in new net long positions or, or, or m maintaining relatively high net long positions in comparison to the five week outlook. Palladium still ripping pretty good. Last five weeks sitting around the 80% extreme positive outlook and we're just, it's still resting around 95%. High grade copper is one that we haven't been paying attention to nearly as much, so I might take a look at that chart, but. I think all of the metals in the upcoming week should definitely be followed. So let's get into the charts. Let's get into uh, let's get into platinum real quick. Let's just drill down and look at platinum. And, and no surprise here, uh, after this, you know, the considerable sell-off in the market, precious metals are looking really, really, really strong right now. So, and, and this bodes well. This boat's well uh, sitting on the 100% index, so we're going to take a look at this chart. Silver, still performing pretty well. Gold, no big surprise there, performed pretty well. I had a kind of a little bit of a down, a little bit of a downturn towards the end of the week, but this could be presenting a nice opportunity for a, a nice buying opportunity if you want to get into gold. So six month index looking really, really strong. Three-year index not nearly as strong, but the commercials I think on the three-year index ha haven't really been holding that strong in the three-year index for some time, and it really just it, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. So while they may have been uh, getting slaughtered on the three-year index, the six-month in is a little bit more responsive, and that's the one we're paying attention to. So after the sell-off, yep, we had a really responsive bounce from gold. And comms on the six months still looking really, really strong. So we had a little bit of a little bit of a sell-off towards the end of the week, and you know, yeah, maybe these numbers matter. Maybe they really don't. It's, it didn't really seem to be a considerable, considerable jump for net long positions, about five thousand contracts on gold. So let's just pull up our number two chart here and look at commercial interest. Really strong, really strong uptrend, you know, for the most part. You know, we've looked at this chart time and again, looking for value areas, looking for support. Here's well, a shooting started with, uh, you know, coronavirus and the economies and everything else. And then a the quick rebound over the course of a couple of days um, saw a strong uptrend. So here's the, you know, the, we had kind of a down week. Looks like the better part of four or five days. But commercial interest still holding really strong in this area. So not as optimistic back here. 
strong sell-off and then the switch in sentiment as price uh, travels down considerably here as the market sells off we're not going to get into you know, the reasons why or you know what we had viewed or the the response of the market um, in terms of you know the you know the virus and this that and the other thing but you know after the sell-off this looked really appetizing this looked really uh, like a nice place to take a long position so we've talked about that before so you know where are we now a little bit of a sell-off WPR kind of creeping down a little bit not a, probably not a bad opportunity here to take on gold and we'll have to get into the lower time frames to take a look you know if this thing is going to find support and, and base up a little bit or if it's going to retrace but you know, if it does retrace where, where would we look to uh, quite possibly get into those trades so we always put up the 50 percent area just to you know to see but I think the lower time frames are a little bit more indicative of where gold is right now in this uptrend so I don't think that the uptrend is busted just yet so this could be a good opportunity to, to, to get into a long position off this bounce so let's look at our lower time frame chart see what we can see here oh good we're nice and we're getting a nice and clean chart here so just coming off the lows or you know at least a, a pivot to work with so we can identify a uh, a channel to process here and this I mean this uptrend channel was was rather large the point of control looked pretty good for the most part fair amount of trading happening in this area let's just zoom in here fair amount of trading happening on the point of control before it lost it and then we find no, we didn't have this channel until in, 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 until this range was established, but off the pivot, found support. A breakout trader, you know, pushed put, pushed away from this pivot. You know, it's time time to get into the trade. So and then we have a nice um, <clears throat> second point to work with with the zero coefficient. So with, you know the. the, the this large uptrend channel didn't materialize and we didn't get this look until you know sometime later so for the better part of uh, probably over a week of trading probably what a week and a half when we finally established this and then you know, here's that uh, excess trading below the you know this this swing pivot so what, I mean, what are we working with here the swing high so here's our value range and we're kind of like right back into that box huh Kind of right back into this box of trading and we did break down the zero coefficient here so if you got in on a short scalp which we did uh we, you know we like this area it just you know it just looked like it was retracing a little bit never really quite gained any support off the uh the eight ema that we usually look at and we'll drill down on the lower time frames in a little in, in a second here but you know larger picture looking at the you know the value value area and we can even come down a little bit here come down we like the tails but just didn't spend a heck of a lot of time above this this this, this area you know so here's here's a real resistance I think that we're working with at this price level about 16 we'll call it 1680 we'll call it the value high in our four hour time frame just so that we know don't generally where I like to look at the one hour time frame but I mean this seems to be pretty pretty indicative of the you know, value low on the four hour time frame so here's what we're working with and then and you know, probably we've got another area horizontal area to work with up in here and we'll just call this a, a support pivot So we've got another pretty decent area on a higher time frame to trade in that looks like it's breaking down a little bit. So now we're we're kind of in the space between two value areas, a really high value area and this value area too, where where we found support previously. So where can we expect a bounce? And is this thing is this thing got some more downside to it, or can we break back up into this channel? Because we broke down the zero coefficient. So when we saw a rejection there, we had a nice scalp. Is this going to continue to the downside, though? Let's take a peek. 
And this is where we had identified that, yep, well, this looks like a good short scalp opportunity. And we got into a couple of scalps in here, so it was, it was pretty productive for the most part. I mean, we were waiting to be a buyer in here. It just didn't materialize. So we, it just it looks pretty strong for the moment. This downtrend does. But can we find support in here where we've found it before? Let's just get a downtrend channel drawn here. See if this can help us out. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, that looked pretty good there. Mm -hmm. So better opportunities in this downtrend channel to be, you know, kind of buyer in this area. Even if we blast through and get a little bit of excessive trading, I still think that with as, as strong as commercial interest is, I will be looking for a bounce somewhere in the in, in this area if we trade through it to get back up into this to this area. So. Obviously, better opportunities to be a buyer at the 1.0 and the 1.25 coefficient. So I'll be watching for a turn here. I, I know that I am. I closed out my short short scalp um, at the end of the week, but I'm really looking to be I'm really looking for a for a, a swing here. I don't really like to see something coming from this. Coms are bullish, a little bit of a sell-off, not tremendous. And what do we have for, what are we looking at for retrace so far from the bottom? Not nearly in that 50% range, but that's, you know, lines up, the 50% range lines up pretty nicely with that value low of the four hour here. And we broke through this and maybe, maybe we, if we get down this low to retest, can we, can we get a nice bounce play? Hmm. I would be watching this area for sure. Market's going to do whatever the heck it wants to do anyway, but this is a nice support area. I like this support range to work with. We did find support in here previously. We'll see if they can hold it in this area. I mean, we take a nice little long scalp, but it, in terms of this downtrend channel, this this very you know brief downtrend channel, uh, the strength of it looks uh, pretty decent for the moment, with the majority of the trading happening on the lower half of it. So, point of control looks pretty darn good. Looks pretty good in here. Underneath it, maybe your sell opportunities you know come in this range or or slightly above it, but it look pre looking pretty strong downtrend for the moment. But keeping my eyes peeled for a, a, a turn, a little bit of a turn, and maybe a retrust, uh, retest into some of these areas. So, can we can we bounce back up? We'll have to see how that plays out this week. But commercial interest still very bullish on this, and as we see, we've seen before, uh, as a leading indicator, that's I have a tendency to want to make sure that we're trying to get ourselves aligned with the right side of the trade with this. So. I'm going to look for a nice bounce off of this, this sell-off somewhere in here. So maybe we can get a little bit more uh, turn down, a little bit more of a cor price correction. And then, you know, away we go. And come back up and re-challenge the, uh, the highs. Yeah, I'll be playing gold this week. This is definitely one that I'm watching. So I'm interested in the breakdown. I want to see where it goes. With comms as bullish as they are, hmm. market sentiment or uh, open interest really not helping us right about here. But with comms getting bullish and open interest relatively low, diminishing or relatively low, that's what we like to see. WPR in the oversold range, and market sentiment really not in this area, not at extremes like we like to see for positions of whether we you know. Think you know, think rally here. Think you know, think um, think bearish here. You know, think retrace a little bit. So markets, I mean, it's up pretty high. 
not as high as it's been, but it, it's kind of flatlined. I don't know how much that helps us, but this can come down a little bit more and, and look for a bounce. I, I'd like to follow commercials on this. Three-year index doesn't really help. It, it didn't help us uh, in this trek higher on the three-year index, but again, we you know we saw the aggressiveness on the six-month index playing out here, and then you know price action to the upside. So powerful move on the six-month index, definitely something to watch. So play it up, play it down. I think it's volatile uh, and definitely worth, obviously, playing in the week, in the weeks to come. So let's take a quick look at silver. Uh, I don't play silver very often. Down at 15. Down at 15 is uh, not looking, not looking wonderful. Let's just clear this out. So what do we have? Looks like this. Important price level about 16 and a half. Can it break? Can it break higher? Com's really bullish on. Uh, Com's getting really, really bullish. Still on the six-month index, and three-year index up over 50. So that looks pretty. That looks pretty. Might get a little bit of a sell-off. Looks like we were in that overbought territory for some time. And market sentiment was 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 pretty low in here. All things considered, lowest since. Uh, it was about. Uh, end of December and June so market sentiment as low as it was in June boded pretty well for uh, for, for comps here in the three-year index up over 80 percent and so this was a nice recipe WPR in that oversold range oh boy what a mess uh, open interest is on on silver but <clears throat> can we get a little bit of a retrace even though they're you know comps are blazing a little, you know, they're still coming down just slightly on the net long positions but they're still up about 96 percent so, so you got to think that there might be a little bit more upside but how much retrace will we get first same thing with uh, gold uh, towards the end of the week looks like we had a little bit of a sell-off and let's bring up our oh boy well, one of these days i'll get these all lined up why don't we do it right now over five. Pardon me, pardon me here. There are three. And our five. Okay. So let's take a look at our two chart here and see what we can see. One hour time frame. <clears throat> Not as strong as gold, but a nice retrace. Nice correction. What can we do now that we've got some pivots? So it looks like we're yeah, it looks like we're breaking down a little bit. So will there be some resistance up in here? We would think so. <clears throat> up around sixteen and a half, like we said, you know, previously. Well, it looks like this channel is breaking down a little bit, so could be a good opportunity to, you know, get your short scalp on. How strong is this this downtrend, though? How strong is it? Oop. It could be short-lived. I'm trading oh, you know, pretty close to that. And point point of control looks pretty darn good here too. Let's do let's get this nice and dialed in properly with some pivots to work with. Point of control looking pretty decent here. Nice response off the point of control, but then a rejection off the negative two five coefficient. So you know, we broke we broke this strong. This was a strong break of the zero coefficient of the uptrend. You know, of, of of the larger picture. So larger picture breaking down, and we've got a nice little, uh, we've got a smaller time frame or lower time frame downtrend to work with. So well, I would follow it uh, again. Probably better selling opportunities on the upper half of the channel, and better buying opportunities towards the towards the lower end of the channel. So point of control, oh, a little bit of a struggle going on right here. So we'll see how the week opens, but. If I'm going to be looking for a long scalp, it, it's going to be down somewhere in this area. 
uh, you're looking for to, to, to get in on the short sell, I would watch the rejection of the zero coefficient and, and somewhere in the, um, I mean, we break above the zero, watch the challenge of the, of the negative two five. So right on the middle ground, hard to take a position right here, I would think. Where can we find some support and resistance zones to work with? So yeah, nice horizontal trading area uh, right about here. And look where that lines up. Well, that's it's not nice. So if we're going to find support, I think I, I would think it would be somewhere in this area. Well, I love it when that works out that way. I read about 14.9, so oh, 14.5. Yeah, yeah it's, a nice, it's a nice number. 14.5, 15. You know, here's the pivot, probably around 15 to the tick. So right around this area, I, I would be looking for maybe a bounce scalp long play. Now we got our value low area. A little excessive trading, zero coefficient, zero coefficient again. Good good place to be a buyer. Good place to be a buyer. Good place to be a buyer. And then we break it. <coughs> so now we're in a, a short term downtrend. How long will it last? Comms as bullish as they are. I gotta think not very long, but <coughs> where will we find support first? I would probably put my money right about here for a bounce play. I mean, come back up and rechallenge this this lost um, uptrend line. So it, not uncommon to break the channel, find support, and then break back into it. So um, you know, excessive trading outside of the uptrend, find support, and then and then get back up into the channel. It's a pretty good point of control working on this downtrend. This was a nice point of control to, to, to contend with on the uptrend, but a lot of the trading was happening below the point of control. Do we have a secondary internal point of control that we could have worked with here? Yeah, I mean, it looked pretty good, right? That rejection from it, yeah. So maybe you got, maybe you got a head start here. <clears throat> maybe you went short, and we got a nice technical retest of the, the lost uptrend line, right? So here's the zero coefficient, <clears throat> here's your technical test, and a rejection from it. So if you missed, uh, you know, getting in on the um, the breakout short sell, you had an opp another opportunity up here in the technical test. When we broke this, you know, the zero coefficient, we came up and retest this area, and we lost the support. So we had a nice, you know, here's some confluence up in here. A little bit of a trading range. You know, to work with you know, support in this area. Hmm. Yeah. Missed the opportunity, got into the buy. Yeah. Right now we're short. Right now we are short. And I would be looking for a bounce play probably somewhere down in here. Cause I don't think I, I don't think comms are ready to give up just yet on, on precious metals. Yeah, that's what I got to say about silver. So what else are we looking at on this chart? I think all the, met the precious metals are looking pretty good. Platinum, do you play platinum? It's a good chart, right? It's a good chart, I think. 7915. Mm, broke that downtrend channel. What were we looking at here? Ooh, lot, yeah, a lot of excessive trading outside this channel. This was such a good opportunity to be a buyer. I think we reported on this last week. Same chart. Same chart, not a heck of a lot of movement. Mm, where do we open Sunday? Open Sunday down here, yeah. That was a nice, nice break and find support on the negative two five, and <clears throat> away we go. Look good for the long setup. I didn't play platinum, sorry folks. But now what are we working with? Let's bring in our three. Oh yeah, well, we're right about where we had found, right about where we we thought on the price level at 818 was you know, a little bit of resistance, um, you know, strong, not not too strong in the bearish activity, but you know, we broke out of the uh, 761. Maybe we come down, retest this, and off we go. Comms really, really, really bullish on platinum right now. 
really bullish on platinum. And we're in the same business here is that whew, my open interest is just not near it's it's at relative lows and price action is still moving to the upside. So uh, same business we saw with gold and with silver. We were over in the overbought territory. I Maybe mean, we'll retrace just a little bit before we get another another move to the upside. So uh, we do like to see this market sentiment relatively low, but we're not quite a buyer. We just we, we you know just think about being a buyer around this 50% range. Let it retrace a little bit and then set yourself up for a long position. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was our weekly chart, right? Well, I call it the weekly chart. It's number two, but it's a, a lower time frame chart. It's nice and clean. There's no other indicators on here. This is where we finished. Where can we get to now? So slight downtrend, not very steep. Uh, and just like silver and gold, just kind of hanging around in that point of control area. Really good point of control. A lot of struggling happening on this this median line better opportunities to be a buyer on the lower edge of it and we're just about middle ground so not a strong sell-off at the end of the week but uh, where do we retrace from Sunday so here's the Sunday open about looks about half about more than yeah, more than about half where are we going here sitting in that 50 60 percent range Of rejection too. It's not quite the low, is it? Not quite the swing low. Yeah, you know, reaction from the uh, two five down for internal retrace. Hang around about fifty percent. This, you know, we could see some upside to silver this week. We'll see how the market opens, but I think if you want to take a a long position down in this area, it looks pretty good. Maybe a retest of that 761 for a nice long scalp. We'll see how it plays out, see how the market opens this week. But um, precious metals all across the board looking really strong with the way that um, business is shaping up lately in the economy. So I will be playing gold. Uh, I may be playing silver. I'll definitely be playing gold, maybe playing silver. Platinum, yeah, I might not play it. I might not play it. Don't want to stretch myself too thin here by playing too much, and I'm really just still interested in playing the peso this week, and, and quite possibly the Canadian dollar. So, the, on the top of my list for the currencies, watch it's sitting up at 100. We really like those. So, and we will do grains in one of the next videos, and just for the heck of it, let's look at high grade copper because I haven't looked at it in a while. It's, it's escaped us. So the, what does this chart look like? Mm, this is probably why. <laughs> it's probably why we've not looked at this chart very much. A lot of range-bound activity happening here. Uh, you know, a lot of value low. Here's your value low. Mm, maybe uh, just not strong. Just not as strong as the other metals right now. Industrial, you know, copper. Yeah. What do we got to work with? Yeah, hanging out. Lower end of the point of control. Still pretty decent uptrend if you're into playing copper. Do we have a strong pivot? Pivot, 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 pivot. Do we have a strong pivot working down here for us? Nah, it's just not crazy about it, but it's there. You know, higher low, lower low, higher low. We blast through that, so that's a tough. But we didn't push lower. Hard to get on the right side of the trade there, huh? But when we come back up and, and, and find support, so you know, we lose this pivot, this initial reaction pivot before the low. So here's the reaction low. This is the that the high that, that uh, or, or this is the reaction high that led to this to this low and mm -hmm, 
Mm, this is the swing low. This is the swing that that produced that. And then this is where we find support. So would seem to be an important pivot for buyers. For maybe sideline bulls to step in and say, okay, you know, we found support here. Let's get into the trade. But a lot of sideways, a lot of sideways trading. This one didn't materialize for you for some time, and I think this is why I haven't been playing copper because there's so much more, there's so much better volatility happening with the other metals that well, I think all this sideways you know trading action would drive me nuts. But if you find if you, you know you can find a, a low value area to work with and get your scalps on you know and target the you know the high the high of that range, and we did find support towards the high that value high range here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm trying to get you guys out of here. I mean, it's you know still relatively strong, but you know it's it's trying to break down a little bit. I mean, better buying opportunities obviously exist uh, on the uh, the zero coefficient and the negative two five, but in terms of strength, how strong? What's the look here? Let's take a look at the commercial chart. See what we see. Yeah, not as you know, not as strong. Even with the with the dramatic sell-off and the break of this, this, this upper range here, uh, even on the six-month index, not nearly as strong. Not nearly as strong. So I won't be playing high-grade copper. But if you're if you're into you know a nice slow progression uptrend channel, maybe it maintains it by. This just feels like it might break down. This is just feeling like it might it might come down a little bit, or has the potential to sitting up towards the higher end, right? Right, you know, licking that uh, liquidity here. Mm -hmm. Not a chart I feel like playing. Maybe maybe we'll maybe back here with this, you know, peak bottom, but yeah. I'm gonna retest here, but I'm not interested in playing this right now. I think that this could this could just trade sideways <laughs> for some time. Industrial metal, how's it gonna play out? Mm, not looking nearly as volatile as as our gold is, and the potential here for uh, a swing. Looking a little toppy, looking a little bit toppy here with the swing high. Almost, almost in your double top, pushed away from that real quick. <clears throat> Up at the 785 or 1785, so pushed away from that really quickly with this with this candle, and didn't look like it wanted to continue higher. So, looking for a bounce on gold. Okay, ooh, 30 minutes. We are doing a lot of talking here, folks. We got a Discord channel if you want to come in and chat with us. Uh, server is listed in the description. And yeah, we're, we're pretty much there all the time. So if you want to come and talk about uh, commercial interests and COT reports, uh, take a look at the you know the charts with us. I do trade weekly, and I post my charts and my trades. So stop in if you'd like. Hope you find yourself on the profitable side of the trade, and we'll see you again on the next video. Thank you.